Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. In this video, hopefully, we're going to go through uh, Hell, uh, sorry, Abyss uh, Chapter Three, uh, sorry, Chapter Three of Abyss difficulty for the Tome of Ethereum. Uh, now, this is the team setup that I was using previously. Again, I think I'll move this to uh, Dahlia into the front slot so she can switch with Cleo. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take out you. I'm going to pop you in so we gain an additional 500%. Uh, I think we can take out speed because uh, I don't think we'll need speed. Um, but I do think we can go for increased damage as well. Uh, and let's just jump into it and let's see uh, how far we can get in this uh, this story mode. Now it's, um, so far it's been relatively easy uh, to complete this story mode. But again, I might be, I might be wrong. Uh, we'll just see. No, it's the same. It's the same all the way through. <laughs> Lancelot doing uh, the majority of the work so if you do own Lancelot which you should do by now um, or at least you should have got a couple of copies of him um, by now then uh, he'll put in all of the work for you in this particular mode that corrode effect applying that corrode effect at the start of battle um, really really important now, as you can see, we don't get the corrode effect here because Lancelot uh, did not stay uh, after the soul effect, uh, soul eaters effect had triggered. Um, but it looks like we should be absolutely fine um, with this. So they're doing a fair bit of damage. Potentially, what we might have to do um, is take out another one of our artifacts, uh, maybe the shield, because we don't usually get a frontline unit. Um, so we don't get a frontline unit here. So I think we can take you out and then we can go ahead and pop you in. So when Soul Devour is triggered, increase max HP by 300%. So this will trigger right at the very start of battle and we'll get that 300% increase as well on top of um, the stats boost that we get from devouring the souls of our uh, friends here. Yeah, so it looks easy enough, absolutely fine. Uh, and yeah, uh, let's... Uh, proceed as we have done before oh bear with me sorry about that just had some work stuff so let's go ahead and carry on uh, it looks like the team that we had absolutely fine taking that shield out looks like the uh, additional health artifact um, has worked wonders and I think that artifact is only going to get better the higher the star level of Hades as well. Um, the reason for that is because on action, I believe it is, uh, Hades does apply that soul devourer effect. So we'll be increasing that by round uh, five. We will have increased um, health by a total of 1500%, um, including the soul devourer effect of the team, uh, the additional stats gained when this team disappears, and also um the additional attack increase as well so it looks like we're fighting hades hades versus hades uh, and lancelot will see yeah, just just falls just falls unfortunate but is what it is no super interesting uh interesting battles in this one but we'll persevere through keep going uh, and just make sure that we get all of this on camera um going through now again it is it's it's very it's just very easy uh given this this particular setup um and given that lancelot is uh, apply those corrode effects uh, with this uh, right here uh, that that particular artifact the um i can't remember what it's called but the one that increases the duration that is just a very, very powerful artifact with Mulan and Lancelot on the team as well. Uh, so we're getting up to uh, round eight. That means we've got seven more stages to go. We are over the halfway mark. We'll just see how... Yeah, just falling straight down. Straight down. Yeah, if you notice, it always keeps this middle slot. It always keeps this middle slot, uh, the Soul Devourer effect, I mean, uh, and then it'll choose a random <laughs> choose a random ally to, to do that with. Unfortunately, no Corrode effect kicking in this time. All the enemies are immune to it. Absolutely fine by me. Just means we do get to see Hades attack as well. Shame, Cleopatra is down, but Hades here too. Uh, yeah, 
demolish the uh, demolish the enemies again as soon as as soon as he becomes level uh, or eight star sorry that for me is when he's going to really start to pop off um, with that protector synergy in there as well he's going to really really properly pop off uh, in this one this season and this particular synergy can't wait for it honestly it's uh, it's around a week away i think at the end of this week um so at the end of this this coming friday there will be a uh, a new artifact out i think that the new artifact will work very well with hades considering it's a um give 100 relic energy plus uh the uh, plus, it's a Valianters and Mystifiers artifact instead. That, to me, is just going to make this team absolutely pop off. Um, just because you do have the Mystifiers plus Cleo as well. Cleo, another unit that I'm waiting for the uh, the 8 stars on. Um, I'll be getting her up to 9 stars. Um, and then, potentially, I'll just be, I'll just be leaving her. Um, you know, uh, after that. I don't know how much more damage that she's going to be able to output potentially getting her up to 11 stars um over the course of the next six months might be viable um but again it's just so there's just so much um potential there with her especially after she gets to that eight star mark as well really really effective unit now hades again he does need that additional health boost uh, in order to pass through, looks like we're not getting the um, the full sweeps anymore. Uh, I don't think we'll get the full sweep on this one potentially. Uh, or we might do. We might do. Uh, corrode effect depends if Lancelot stays in. I think because he does increase the uh, effect by two hundred percent. So as you can see, so many corrode effects being applied when he's on the team. Um, it's 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 just crazy. Absolutely. Um, and he is the free to play unit as well. So really really good um good stuff and then as we clear up these missions here hopefully this will be a uh, round one kill uh, if not is what it is so yeah the corrode effects uh, stacking up there um, with mulan as well uh, unfortunately lancelot again to do the most but we'll just see uh, this is the final mission uh, in chapter three uh, we'll just see how tough it really is um Ah, uh, shame. Yeah. So because we got uh, Cleo in this one, we didn't get um, we didn't get that corrode trigger, uh, unfortunately, popping off. But I don't think it should be too much of an issue. Oh, maybe we might lose this one. Flipping act. Wouldn't that be something to see? Yeah. There you go. Crazy. Let's, uh, let's try that again. That's the first time I've lost. I think getting clear was a bad uh, bad spot, unfortunately. But it is what it is. We'll, uh, we'll just have to see. There we go. So this is a little bit better. Lowering the enemy's attack. Applying that corrode and they just fall. So it is, yeah, it's a matter of RNG. Getting Lancelot in that slot. Absolutely. Um, yeah. <laughs> what a unit. Uh, so we'll go ahead and claim our goodies and then we can move on when we do reach level 168 i am one level off so not able to um not able to progress just yet but as soon as we do we'll get all of the uh, the goods going i just want to say thank you very much for watching uh, i do hope you have a fantastic day if you can like and subscribe uh, that'd be really appreciated uh yeah good luck